here. There's not a lot occupying the space though, is there, David? Many of you, you might be a new viewer, and I've just realized, well, I didn't, and thankfully Rebecca realized, that I've been tossing around the terms Cheetah Plains and Juma willy-nilly, and, uh, well, they're not the same place. Juma is a reserve to the east, west of where we are now, that's where we centered, and that's all part of the Sabi Sands, which in turn is part of the Greater Kruger National Park. The Cheetah Plains is another reserve that we traverse, also part of the same system, but it's not contiguous with Juma. So we've had to come a little way along, and we traverse Juma, Arathusa, Cheetah Plains, and Chitwa Chitwa. Those are the four reserves or properties in the Sabi Sands that we traverse, and we're now on the far eastern version, or far eastern parts of our traversing area. That makes any sense? I mean, really, the only way to do it was with a map and the light is not quite good enough for me to draw you a map and um, well you'd have to have your wits about you to understand what I was saying with a map anyway now Sandra you're saying when is the best time to visit our area well Sandra it depends entirely on what you want I don't think there is a best time I think any, any time of the year has its advantages and disadvantages, obviously vastly more ad than dis. Uh, so what I normally like to do is split it up into seasons, and well, there are four seasons traditionally. There are here, there are where you are, I've no doubt. Let's start from... Um, let's start from June. So June, July, August, the sort of winter months. It's cold in the mornings, but not freezing. Four degrees Celsius or so, so, I mean, what's that? It's roughly 45 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe a little bit less than that. That's not too bad. And then it gets up to a very pleasant sort of 75 degrees or 23 degrees Celsius in the, after, in the, in the middle of the day, so it's very pleasant temperatures. There is no rain. You're likely to have hardly any cloud cover whatsoever. It'll often just be blue skies for days and days on end. And then you have, it's much browner though, so the vegetation's lost its green luster, if you like. And that, for some people who are not used to this kind of area, is unpleasant. Because it looks quite harsh unless you're used to it, in which case it looks very beautiful. So that's the winter months. Because the vegetation is a little bit more concentrated and the water is a bit more concentrated, the game viewing is generally pretty good. Then we go into the sort of spring, early summer, that's September, October, November, and it gets even drier, there's still no rain, but then it really can start to look quite harsh. There's no greenery left, uh, the trees are still waiting for their leaves, no rain for the new dry season, and so, at least for the new wet season, and so all the water is very concentrated in small pools, and the game viewing is excellent, but the landscape itself is probably not looking at its most magnificent. So that's the best game viewing time of the year, but it is very, very hot, and there's no relief from cloud or rain. Then we go to December, <coughs> excuse me, January and February, which is, well, we've just come out of that period. That's the rainy season, pretty much. And the grass has started to come up like it is now. You can see it here. Everything's green and lush. The end of December, or between sort of beginning and end of December, we get all of the flushes of new baby impala and kudu and waterbuck and various other creatures give birth, which is very special indeed. And so that's a very good time of the year. And then uh, you have the sort of autumn time which is uh, for March, April, May, and that's not, it's, it's very good, it's very beautiful, the heat's come off the summer, so it's very hot in the summer, but it's very beautiful. The heat's come off the summer, and there's still a lot of greenery and beauty around the place, but all the baby animals have grown up, so it really does depend on what you want. Now we're going to hand you over to Taylor, but just as we do that, I want you to quickly look at that golden tree over there. Can you see it, Dave? Up, 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 right. All the way to the end of the lens. There we are. It's just, just catching a last bit of sun. Off to Taylor 